Hey everyone, I thought I'd give you just a really quick tour of the um, garden and everything that we have going on. Um, back here we just had a bunch of trees taken down to work on some drainage issues and left the mulch pile here because this is going to be the future site of our hoop house. Um, so we're going to work on getting that area going. It's, a, it's just a mess back here because we've had so much flooding and just had a bunch of trees taken down that were um, affected by the flooding. So. We've got another mulch pile going here to uh, put into the chicken run to help with all the mud and everything from all the rain we're having here in Georgia. Um, we've got two beds started right here. Along the right side is going to be the elderberries right along here. And this bed here is going to all be the pollinators. Um, so we've got a bunch of different flowers and stuff going in there. Over here. We've got the new bed that we just built for the asparagus. It's about 28 feet long. Um, so we'll have that going out here. And all the blue buckets you see are gonna be our tomato plants. We decided just to go with buckets. Um, I'll tell you more about those in a minute. Out here, this bed here is gonna be for our blueberries um, that we got from our friends at Trusty Plow Farm. And We'll go in here for a minute. Everything's covered up right now. Um, it's warming up the soil and killing out the rye grass and everything that's underneath. Um, but these beds, these are all three by six beds. We just made them out of cedar fence planks. Um, and these are gonna be our pickling cucumbers. Um, this bed is still open. Not sure what we're gonna do with this one yet. Um, we've got onions going here and carrots and leeks and shallots. So we're just growing a lot of staple type items. Um, and again back here we have the buckets. We just got these at Home Depot. They're under five bucks. Um, and we've got a bunch of different types of tomatoes that are going to go in there. Um, the green zebra tomatoes, Roma tomatoes, um, purple Russians, and San Marzano. Uh, we're going to do some tom tomatillas up in the other area of the garden. Um, over here we've got in the greenhouse, we've got a couple things going. I'll show you real quick. All right, so in here we have our onion starts. Um, we also started some inside under the LED grow lights. Um, we kind of missed the boat on getting these planted in the fall, so we're just going to see you know, what works out. We've got our blueberry starts and our elderberry starts, which are doing really, really well. They all look nice and happy. And here we have. Um, some more fake starts, so we'll just see what happens with those. You can see our lettuce is still doing really well. Um, I just open it up on the days when it's not pouring rain, which isn't very often. Um, and the spinach is doing okay. We didn't really plant a lot of it. It's our first time. Um, these are going to be for the potatoes here. And then we're going to have more cucumbers back here in this little bed. And then along here, we've got three different varieties of garlic. We've got different varieties of strawberries going behind there and some more strawberries over here. And up in these fire rings up here is gonna be our raspberry plants. And then we have a row behind here of lots of creeping rosemary. And then we just have junipers that we planted on this hillside. Um, to help with the erosion control. This hill's just really been a nightmare since we bought the house, so this is kind of where we ended up. And I'll bring it up to the other garden. This is our gate that I love. We built it out of garden, um, not garden, bed, headboards, and footboards. And we just joined them together and gave it some spray paint. Super functional. I love the color. So we've got a couple more buckets. I'm not sure what we're going to put here, but we've got five buckets going up the steps. These will be kind of for the onesie twosie kind of plants that we're not really growing a lot of. So we've got five of those. And then up here is really just going to be our container garden. It's about 60, 70 feet long goes between here and our little cottage over there. We'll probably do the tomatillas up here the jalapenos, poblanos, banana peppers, um, 
I'm not sure what else yet. We're just going to see what we've got from our seed exchange. But over at this end, we are going to put all of the beans. We're going to do the pole beans. And um, I'm not sure what else. Probably do a lot of pole beans over here. I think we have three different kinds. So that kind of gives you an idea of what we have going on. The video is a little bit easier to see everything than the pictures here and there. So that's it. We'll keep you updated on our progress um, and see what we get to grow. This is our first actual garden, so we'll just see. I forgot to mention that on the far side of the hill near the steps, we are going to do our melons over there and pumpkins. So definitely lots of watermelon. Um, we're going to try our hand at pumpkins again and then some other various melons that we got um, through a seed swap. And the other thing we have down here is our fig tree. Um, this area right here, it's just washing away really bad. So we're going to build a retaining wall out of some of these logs that came down from the trees. Um, get some soil and mulch in here and try and build this back up. Um, trimmed it back a little bit and hopefully we'll get um, more fruit this year than we have in the past. Um, the other thing we're going to be doing next to the elderberries back there when that mulch pile is gone, um, that is also where we're going to put our um, pomegranate trees. Uh, we're also going to try growing some goji berries and we got some pawpaw fruit when we were at Homesteaders of America. So we're going to try growing those seeds. Um, so that's just a couple more things and probably I'm going to put the blackberries back along the fence. So those are just a couple things I forgot to mention.